Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036359, 0703 768119. Email address lsmedia at or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. We are seeing, reading the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 5. We are reading verse 1 to 4. Now, will I sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved? Touching his vineyard. My well beloved has a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that looked that it should bring forth grapes. And it brought forth white grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judea, judge, I pray you, between me and my vineyard, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it. Wherefore, when I looked to that, it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wide grapes. The Lord began to talk to us this morning about the call to discipleship. And as our brother was talking, he went forth to talk about multitude. He said there are categories of disciples. And he talked about there are multitude. And there are some among the multitude that are disciples that the Lord Jesus could call to the privacy he could call them to the mountain. He could speak to them in a plain language. He was not speaking to them in parable. And now, we that are here, we have come to this retreat. And God has brought us to this retreat to, 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 to talk to us, to reveal himself to us, to reveal the Father to us, to reveal the mysteries of heaven to us. I am seeing that this is a fence as I'm reading the Isaiah. In that verse 2, he said, and he fenced it. And he gathered out the stones thereof. You know, God has brought us here to teach us the stones, what will not be good for our life. What will not carry us? What will not make us a disciple? He has been teaching us about that, sorting out the stone, clearing everything to give us the word, to plant the word of God in our hearts so that we will bear fruit. You know, many of us, some of us here, we have been going to Nigeria. We have been hearing the word of God. We have been hearing about discipleship. And many of us too, we have come to discipleship class, we have been in a discipleship class, but yet, we are not committed. 
We have not given our, our, our heart to the Lord Jesus. We have not yielded our neck to discipleship. And I'm hearing God calling this morning again that this is another opportunity. We must not be among the crowd. I must not be among the crowd. There must be a deliberate decision, a deliberate, you know, stand, determination to follow the Lord Jesus. To yoke our neck completely under this yoke. I became afraid when the Lord said, what else? We've been to Nigeria. We hear the word of God. We travel all the way with our passport, pay a huge amount of transportation to go there. Back in Ghana here, we have been coming together. 2019, we're here. 2020, we're here. And God in mercy has brought us to this time again, this year, to be at his feet. Disciples retreat. Lord is doing this in our life, building our lives, you know, talking everything to make sure that we are disciples indeed. Our prayer point is that we are not going to have any excuse. May the Lord God Almighty not say to any of our life, what else have exposed you? I have exposed you to discipleship. The word of God has been coming to us, even in this place. In Ghana, as a whole, as we go for our discipleship classes, the word of God has been coming, yielding our net to be a disciple of Christ indeed. We cannot give excuse. We are going to pray for ourselves as disciples. That we will bear, our life will bear fruit. Our life will bring that first fruit, that heaven desire, that God is looking for to see in our lives. That we will yield our name completely. You know, some of us, we are in disciples, they say, yes, we are disciples. But whom are you committed to? Ah, you are not committed to the Lord Jesus Christ. You are not committed to human disciple. When God look at account, we they say, ah, this is my son, this is my daughter. I have invested, I have exposed him, I have exposed her to so many teachings about disciples to make him or her a disciple indeed. And yet, we are withdrawing back. I want us to go quickly to see the book, we are two categories of people that we are going to pray today. Let's see the book of Luke chapter 13. Luke 13. We are reading from verse uh, 6. 6 and 7. We are reading to verse 9, please. We are reading to verse 9. Luke 13, from verse 6 to 9. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I came seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbereth it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall dig about it. And dung it, and if it bear fruit, fruit well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. We are going to pray. Now, in the case of this place that we read from the loop, 
It was the Lord Jesus Christ that was saying, that was telling this parable. And the parable, what is he talking about? A parable. Who is a dresser? Who is a vine dresser? A vine dresser, I've seen a vine dresser as a disciple. He pleaded. When the master came and said, no, this fruit, for these three good days, I've not seen any fruit. We shouldn't cover the ground. Just wasting the ground like that. Cut the tree. But I could see the disciples standing in the gap and pleaded and said, Lord, Master, let this tree alone. I'm going to dig around it. I'm going to put manure. I will put fertilizer. If I have done all that and yet it does not bring forth fruit, then you can cut it. My brothers and sisters, the digging is the word of God that we have been receiving. The manure is the word of God that we have been receiving in one way or the other. Even in our, in our churches, we are hearing this from, the, from, the, from our pastors, from the believers that God is using for our spiritual fathers about this life. But yet, there was no fruit. As our brother was talking, he said, yes, I thank God that we are all disciples. Here is a matter. If we are just floating, if we are just floating in the crowd and we have not yet submitted to the Lord, we have not yielded our neck to the yoke of discipleship, we cannot bear fruit. If we have not yielded to the, to the fruit, to the fence, to the everything declaring to make sure that we are not child in the word of God. If we are not bearing fruit, if we are not becoming a disciples indeed, if we are not multiplying Christ's life, our life is not bringing forth the life of Christ, and we are not raising disciple of Christ's life, then we are not bearing fruit. And there is a danger. A danger to cut. A danger to cast down the tree. I want us to beg the Lord. I want us to pray for ourselves this morning. We are going to beg the Lord. And as the Lord has brought us to this place, this time, this year, these few days we are going to spend together, the Lord is going to continue with the digging. The Lord is going to continue with the nurturing. The Lord is going to continue with the manure upon our lives. Our brother said, we should pray a prayer that God will be revealed. I want us to go to God. We will ask the Lord, my coming here, leaving everything, cross the river, and we are here in the midst of the bush. Lord, help me that I will not go the same. He have not yielded my name to the discipleship. Lord, help me. This time around, what is the fear? What is making us to know you eat our name to discipleship? What is the hindrance? Let's go to God in prayer. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer. Dear blessed Lord, to thy cross where thou hast died, draw me nearer, dear blessed Lord, to thy precious. 
please. I want you to take the position of prayer. If you want to stand, if you want to sit, if you want to kneel, can we go to God? A lot have been saying this morning. Jesus said, come to me. Oh, yeah, that labor, that heavy lady, learn from me. A call to discipleship. A call to discipleship. Some of us may be here. We have not healed our neck. Can we ask the Lord? If we are here and the Lord has been exposing us, has been teaching us, has been facing our life, that look, so that we will be a disciple in day to become like Christ and to bear fruit that will multiply the kind of Christ life in our community, in our church, in our nation, and yet we are not meeting up to that demand. Can we beg the Lord? Can we plead with the Lord, Father? We are here before you, Lord. We are begging you, our Father. We commit ourselves into your hands. Lord, you have spoken to us. We are here, oh Lord, help us. Lord, I plead with you. I bring myself before you. Lord, help me, oh God. Now, on that day, you will not say, What test have I not done? What test have I not done to you, Victoria? I've exposed you. I've exposed you. I've teach you. I've drawn you in. I have poured my life. I have said everything. And I have not seen the fruit. Lord Jesus, I plead with you. Have mercy upon me, oh Lord. Father that I will bear that fruit the fruit made for you that fruit you are depending on me the fruit you are looking for to see from my life Father I plead with you oh Lord show me mercy show me mercy oh God when you come demanding fruit from my life Father you will get the fruit from my life you will bear the fruit I will get the fruit you are looking for in my life in the name of Jesus Father I plead with you help my life oh God Help my life, oh God, Father, to multiply the fruit of Christ, the fruit of Christ's life, the life of the Master, the life of Jesus, Lord, our Father. I plead with you, oh God, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon me. All your investments of my life, all your investment of my life, all your exposure to my life, Lord, help me, help me to bring from me, so God, for you, help me to bring from me. For you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I plead with you. I plead with you. Remove barrenness from me. Remove all God, Father. Barrenness from my life. I plead with you, Lord Jesus. Remove barrenness from my life. Oh Lord, stagnation from my life. Help me, oh Lord, my Father. I plead with you, Lord. I plead with you, Abba Father. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me be mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Abba Father, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Ah, riba ka senta ribo, riba baba raba ka shanta raba, lebro ko senta riba ba, riba ka yeke te riba ka saya, la bro ko sheke te riba ba raba saya, lento robo, riba baba baba, riba ka sada, la bro ko sheke riba ba, riba ba. Santa ribo costeria, la caribo co santa ribo, liba santa raba cayeta, le baba baba. Lord, we plead with you. Help us, Lord. Even our sitting at your feet today, Father. Lord, our Father. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Masita ribo in the name of Jesus. Brother, we are going to plead with the Lord. Let's check our life sincerely. Are we not just bearing the name of discipleship? Did the Lord God Almighty, the Lord Jesus, the master disciple, has he known us to be his disciple indeed? Has the Lord Jesus known us to be his disciples indeed? Let's beg the Lord. Ah, ribo koshe, riba ba 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 rata la bo koshe te riba ba, raba kasa ta raba ba, la bo koshe te riba ba kaskuto robo, liba ba 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 raba kasa, le pro koshe ke te riba ba, raba ba 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 ba, rato robo koshe te riba ba, raba ba 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 kaya 
Santa Revo Cochete Bibaba, O God. Father, look upon us. We have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon us, O God. We are here before you. This is a fact. This is a reality. This is a fact that we cannot dodge. This is a fact that we cannot do away with. Father, we plead with you. Have mercy upon us, O God. Have mercy upon us, O God. Riba Kayata, Maraka Bayata, Ribo, Riba Baba Santa Rabaculia, Rebo Bobo Bobo Santa Ribaba. Lord, I plead for mercy. Have mercy, O Lord, upon my life. Have mercy upon us, Lord, upon my life. Lord, I go with my brother. We plead with you. No, Father, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy. Your investment upon our life will not be vain. Lord, your exposure to our life will not be vain. Father, your teaching to our life will not be vain. Oh, Lord, Mariba Kasaya, Reba Kashete Riba Bakaskulia, Raba Kasata, Rebo Koshete Riba, Mariba Ba, Maraba Kasa, Maliba Kasheke Riba Ba, Riba Kasata, Rabo Kosheke, Riba Baba Baba Baba, Raka Baba Baba Baba, Raka Baba Baba, Yeto Robo Koshe, O Lord, O Lord, Abba Father, Abbe Silo, Abbe Silo, Rebo Koshete Riba Ba, Raka Basata Riba Bakaskulia, Reka Baba Baba Baba, Masito Robo, O God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, have mercy, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Maraca Sada, Mali Braca Shata Ribo, Reba Baba Baba Kayata, Mari Braca Shata Ribo, Maraba Baba, Lord of mercy, Rebo Koshete Ribaba, in the name of Jesus. Some of us are here. We have not even known. He said, what is this discipleship all about? He said, must the person be a disciple before he goes to heaven? That's the kind of a question that is going on in some of our hearts. Must one be a disciple? And this is a condition that Jesus has made. What is discipleship? A process to become like Jesus. To have his own image, his own character, his own lifestyle. The life that will please the Lord. Yes, can we pray? Those of us have not hit our neck. He said we don't understand. The Lord is calling us for discipleship. Can you respond to God and tell God, Father, I have seen, I have heard about it. I am ready to obey you. Let's go to God in prayer. Lord, our Father, we have come to you, O oh God, our Father, even for the people, O oh King of glory, that are saying, what is the discipleship all about? Must one be a disciple before he goes to heaven? Yes, it's only the Christ life, only the life of Christ that will be found in heaven. Lord, we plead with you, help such, O oh God, our Father, to heal their neck. Help such, O oh God, Father, to see you. Help such, O oh God, Father, to be committed. Have such a God to take a bold step into this in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, have your way. Have your way, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I want us to beg the Lord. If some of us, we are dragging our leg, one leg, and another leg is outside, we are, we are in between. Can I yield my neck? Or can I not go? And for many years, we are coming to discipleship meeting. We come to everything. We had everything. Go to discipleship class. Yet, we are not disciple. We have not committed ourselves to the Lord Jesus. We have not committed ourselves to the human disciple that God passed through to train our life. Can we beg the Lord? Lord, help me. Before I leave this camp, I must not rise from here and go back the same. And go and sit back the way I used to do it before. No, Lord, help me. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, our Father. We are praying, oh God, we ask of you, Lord. The Lord, some of us are in between. Decision, Lord, we plead with you. Let boldness come upon us. Lord, to take the bold step and to go and yoke our neck. And to follow the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we plead with you, Lord, for grace. We plead with you, Lord, for grace. That every fear, if I eat my neck, it means I will not have any 
anything to do on my own. It means I'm not having anything to do on my own again. No, Lord, Father, give boldness. Boldness, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Boldness to yield to discipleship in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, thank you. Lord, we bless and we worship you. May your name be praised, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to beg the Lord. Let's add that the veil will be removed from our eyes. Let's pray with the Lord Jesus to reveal himself to us. Unless we see Jesus, unless we see the man of Calvary, let's make the Lord reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Open my eyes in the course of this retreat. Open my eyes to see every segment of this retreat. As the as one is coming, as the Bible study will be going on, as seminar will be going on, Lord, give me the grace. Lord, help me to see you. Help me to see Jesus. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we are begging you. We plead with you, our Father. We ask for the veil to be removed from our eyes. We ask that the the veil will be removed from our eyes, O oh Lord. Father, that we will see you. Reveal Jesus to us every aspect of this meeting. Reveal Jesus to us even in the song. Reveal Jesus to us all oh, in the message. Reveal Jesus to us in the seminar. Reveal Jesus to us in the Bible study. Lord, we look up to you. Let the veil be taken from each of our hearts. Let the veil be removed from each of our hearts. Lord, our Father, we plead with you. Have your way, O oh Lord, upon our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I want us to pray. Let's pray for ourselves. That the door of faith will be open into our heart. If that door of faith is not open in our heart, we will sit here, we will receive the word of God, and it will not make meaning. We will not make profit. We will not bear fruit. Let's ask the Lord, Father, let the door of faith be open into my heart, that I will receive this word and mix it with faith in my heart, that I will move on to bear fruit. I will move on to be a disciple indeed. Let's beg the Lord. Father, Lord, I plead with you, oh God. I present myself to you with my brethren. Lord, we ask that the door of faith will be opened into each of our hearts. Let the door of faith be opened into each of our hearts. Lord, to receive your word in faith. To miss the word with faith in our heart. To miss the word with faith in our heart. Lord, in our Bible study. Father, in the message, in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we look up to you. We depend on you, oh Lord. Father, have your way. Let the door of faith, oh God, be open to me. Lord, that, that you have for me as an individual, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to pray. You know, yesterday, when the opening charge was coming, we were made to know that the enemy will not want the word of God, the power of God to be made manifest in our lives. Let's plead with the Lord, Father, help me in the course of this meeting that the gate of hell will not prevail. The enemy will not do anything. Help the world that your world, your power will be made manifest in my life in the course of this meeting. Let's pray. Lord in heaven, we come to you, O oh God. We are pleading with you, Abba Father. We ask, O oh God, and to the rock of ages, the Lord God Almighty. Father, I plead with you that the gate of hell will not prevail. We take authority over all the plans of the enemy. Father, that will make us to sit here and our heart will go far away. Father, we refuse that. Lord, cause our heart to be sensitive. Cause your will to be done in our life. Cause your will way to be made manifest in our lives. Cause the way of God to be made manifest in our life. Cause your power to be made manifest in our life. Cause the reason why you called us, the reason why you saved us, the reason why you apprehend us. Lord, Father, we plead with you. Let it be made manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we look up to you. We depend on you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, oh Lord our Father, Rebecca, Santa, Ra, every forces of the darkness.
Jesus, we arrest you and we cast you from this arena. You have no place in our midst. You have no place in our midst. We cast you out of this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, our Father, we worship and we adore you. Be thou exalted, oh, our King, in the mighty name of Jesus. Riba kasata rabo koshete riba bakasaya. Rabo kosete riba bakayatala. Rabba baba baba basata. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, our Father, we thank you. We worship and we adore you. Abba, Father, we look up to you, O oh God. Father, Father, intervene, O oh God, in our midst, in the name of Jesus. Intervene, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. We adore you, our King. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to pray. When our brother was talking, see how beautiful it is. He got into this discipleship he, with the Lord Jesus Christ before he got married. And with those of us that attended couples with you, you see how God is using them. And he said, those of you that are young here, it's a privilege that you should not take our discipleship for granted. Can we beg the Lord? Some of us along the way, we might be discouraged. We, are just, we say we are withdrawing back. But I'm hearing the Lord say this morning, don't withdraw back. Don't take it for granted. Don't be casual about it. Step forward. Step forward into the car. We pray for ourselves. Father, Lord in heaven, we come to you again this morning. We are begging you. We are depending on you, our God. The Lord God Almighty, you will help us. Help, oh God, Father, even the Yoba, those that have discouraged, those that are on between, they want to cut the rope on our neck to go, to become somehow, to be, live our life anyhow. Lord, I plead, oh God, that you will help us to press on. You will help us to come in fully. You will help us, Lord, to hold to you very tightly in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we depend on you, oh Lord. Father, show us your mercy and do this in each of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, our Father. Rabba ka santa libro ko shede riba. Rabba ka santa riba ba Lord, Father. Intervene, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. If you see in verse 3, the Lord began to say and say, and now, all inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judea, I pray you, between me and my vineyard, what could, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done it? What should I do again? How do I explain? How will the word of God come? How can we understand again the Lord saying, what else? If I am not bearing fruit, if we are not bearing fruit, the Lord say, what else? And according to our meeting, that we should walk while it is day. We don't know when the night will come. The night of sickness may come. The night of death may come. The night of whatsoever will come. Can we beg the Lord? Father, the Lord strengthen me. Increase that zeal, that heart in my life. That for this, for the few years that we have to live on the surface of the earth, Lord, help me to bear fruit for you. To bear fruit for you. Let's pray. Father, Father, we are begging you, oh God, that Lord, we plead for mercy. We ask that Lord, this day, Lord, increase that faith in our life. Increase the zeal in our life. Increase, oh Lord, Father, the fertilizing power in our life to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase, oh God, the velocity, Father, in our life to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we plead with you. Lord, come to us in mercy. Show us your mercy, oh God, our Father. Lord, that we will bear this fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we look up to you, O oh God. Have mercy upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. If you see that Luke chapter 13, from that verse 6, he spake 
also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard, and he came and sought for fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of this vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbereth it the ground? Why cumbereth it the ground? I want us to beg the Lord. If I am not bearing fruit, if we are not bearing fruit, we are just cumbering the ground. We are just filling the space and that will not make the Lord Jesus to be happy. Can we beg the Lord? Father, whatever you will do to my life, whatever help you will give to me, every requisite help that I need for this fruitfulness, Lord, do it in my life. Do it in my life, Lord. Do it in my life. Help me. Help me, Lord. Let's beg the Lord, Father. Whatever you will do in my life to bear fruit, the fruit of Jesus, the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of the kingdom, do it in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Father, we have come again, oh God, we are pleading with you. Whatever you will do to our life, whatever you will do to our life, Father, to bear this fruit. Father, we are pleading with you. We ask for more grace. We ask for God for a second chance. We ask for God for mercy. The Lord God Almighty has a very dresser pleader with you to give him more time, Father. We are pleading with you for this time that you have given for us to have law. Father, do everything that you will do. We need your help. You know us. You know our fame. We depend on you, O oh Lord to do all that you will do in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our Father. Thank you everlasting Father. Have mercy oh Lord have mercy upon our life in the name of Jesus Christ. If you see the verse when you see verse Verse 8. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. Another prayer we are going to pray here. Who is watching over your life? Who is the person that is standing in the gap for you? Who is that dresser, the vain dresser, that is standing in the gap to plead your cause before the Lord? Anyway, if you are not in the garden, if you are not in, that, in the right place, if you have not yet your net to discipleship, how will the master plead it? Who is pleading on your behalf? Who is discipling your life? Are we not just going like that in the, uh, in the midst of the multitude? Just floating in the midst of the crowd, in the midst of the disciple, and yet Jesus is saying, I don't know you. Jesus is saying, I don't know you. Jesus is not pleading on our behalf. I want us to pray. And as you are praying, if you see that the Lord is talking to you, that yes, I am needed to respond to this yoke, don't hesitate. You can respond by stepping forth to the altar that we will pray together that henceforth the Lord God Almighty will be your, your disciple. If you have no entire to this, if there is no one that is interceding for you, if there is no one that is standing in the gap for you, if you have not yet come to that Jesus, and Jesus is the one that will be dead before us and the Father, can you please step forward as you are praying together? Let's pray. 
Abba Father, Lord, we are begging of you, O oh God. The Lord God Almighty, Father, for those of us that have no yield our neck, that have not entered into this relationship, that we are still outside there. We roam about. We do everything we want. Nobody is checking us. Nobody is making impute into our life. Nobody is speaking into our life. We want to marry, we marry anyhow. We want to do, we do anything anyhow. Lord, we are pleading with you. If there is such person in our midst, we are pleading with you this morning. The Lord, we have such a person to come to Jesus, to come to Jesus, to yield the neck and to surrender to this discipleship in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Our blessed and everlasting Father we thank you, we worship and we adore you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all adoration. Thank you Lord for your word that you have sent to us this morning. Lord, you began to talk. Lord, our Father, the Lord, you call into this discipleship. You say you know all men. You cannot commit yourself to all because you know them. Our Father, we are pleading with you this moment. We are pleading with you that you will help us. That our, our life will not be the bound among the crowd. That we seek miracle. That we seek bread. That we perish. Lord, help us, O oh God, that will be the one that will seek, who will be the people that will see the bread that lasts for eternity. Lord, our Father, we plead with you that, Lord God Almighty, you will have mercy upon each one of us. Lord, that all your investments, all your exposure, all your word that you are giving to us in one way or the other, Lord, our Father, concerning our God, Lord, discipleship, Lord, we will not waste it. We will not take it for granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we plead with you, help us to be a fruitful vine, help us to be a fruitful plant, help us, Lord, oh God, our Father, in our offices, in our home, in our community, in our churches, help us to bear this fruit in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, when they look at our life, they will know that yes, indeed, these people have been with Jesus. That is what we are asking of you. We plead for mercy. The Lord, let it not be that you will be lamenting, you will be crying. Look at what I have done in the life of this person. And yet, there is no fruit. Lord, we plead it to you, help us, Lord, that will not be a castaway. You will not cast us down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, we depend on you, Lord. Have mercy upon our life. Some of us, we are afraid. We say, if I do like that, it means I don't have anything to do on my own. Lord, give such a person boldness to step forward, to yoke, to yoke their neck into this discipleship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The beauty of it is that the yoke of the Lord Jesus is easy. The yoke of the Lord Jesus is light. The yoke of the Lord Jesus is a good one. Help us, Lord, that none of us that is sitting here today will be working for you and yet no working with you. Lord, deliver each one of us from this in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our God, we plead with you, our eyes are on you, oh God. Lord, as you have drawn us, Lord, to this place again, this retreat again this year. Lord, to continue the building, to continue the fertilizing, to continue to instruct our life as disciples, Lord, cause our door of our faith to be open. Each one of us, down to the language class, we beg you, even the children class, we plead with you that our eyes will be open, the door of our heart to be open. We will mix with faith in our heart. Every instruction you will give us, we will mix it with faith. Lord, I will make use of it in the name of Jesus. We plead with you that, Lord, it will not be like the children of Israel at a point the Bible said they could not profit from the word of God because they do not mix it with faith in their heart. Lord we beg you Lord that you help each one of us. Lord it will not be our portion in 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory and honor. We thank you, Lord, that some of us that are bearing fruit already, we plead with you that we continue to bear much, much fruit. As long as we are alive, help us at each point that we will not be stagnant. We will not be stagnant best the year go by. We continue to multiply the Christ life, the fruit of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord in heaven, we thank you. We commit everything into your hands today. You will have your way. You will lead us. Lord, the enemy of our soul that will not want God, that will not want us to prosper, that will not make your world to prosper, will benefit to manifest in our life. We stand against them. We take authority over them. We cast them from our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, to roll to roll. Every one of us according to our individual God capacity to understand. Lord, we can go, Lord, that you will come to each one of us at our level, Lord, that henceforth, as we move from this meeting this year, Lord, our Father, we go bearing fruit. We go bearing fruit for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We worship you. We adore you. Father, please do beyond what we can ask of you, even this moment, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.